Hey everyone, welcome back to the X-Ring where I'm bringing it to you today from VOD. It's a chilly day and I have a really exciting review for you. It is the new Laugo Alien. So you guys might have seen or heard of this pistol. Uh, in 2020 at SHOT Show, it was a huge hit. Price point is not inexpensive. It's going to run around $5,000 on that initial order, but you'll never find one of these for $5,000 now. I've seen them on uh, different gun brokers and things like that where these things are bringing $8,000 now. I think they limited these to $500. This one's actually signed by the designer of the pistol himself. And what makes the Alien so unique is that low bore axis, okay? so. You know, even if you're a big competition shooter like, and you know, you're shooting Infinities or Akai's, much like myself, you guys have seen those reviews. Uh, this is an alternative that's actually going to give you that lower bore axis. It's in that same price point. It's a premium pistol. So let's go ahead and take a look and see what's in the box. All right, so opening the box, what we've got here is it appears to be an Anik case. I don't know that for sure, but guys, look at that. This is an awesome looking pistol. Looking at it firsthand, it's very reminiscent of a CZ style uh, as far as the grip has three magazines, has your uh, Allen keys. It comes with an iron sight top, as well as one for like an RMR or something like that. This one actually has a Seymour RTS on it. And then also a really nice holster because I'm sure finding a holster on this would be very difficult. But, you know, honestly, I wish, wish I had seen one of these before because before we even get into the pistol, look at that guys. This is all machined aluminum, anodized, just beautiful. So you can definitely tell the attention to detail is there. So the pistol has already been checked, but let's go ahead and clear it for everyone there. You'll see how low that barrel sits. So one of the things that's really unique about this is you have a low bore axis. It's actually the lowest in the world. Think Chiapa Rhino, but on a semi-automatic rather than a revolver. The other thing is you're going to notice as the slide reciprocates, we have no movement from the RDS. So this is not gonna be a slide ride, it's gonna be a fixed dot. And if we switch out to iron sights, your iron sights don't move, either front sight or rear sight. So looking at the right side of the pistol, you'll see there's no controls or anything on this side. Looking on the left side of the pistol, you're gonna see you have a large magazine release. You have an enlarged mag well here. Your slide stop, slide release. And then of course your, of course your takedown pin. As far as the barrel itself, you're going to see that it's nice and polished with a really, really good finish on that. I can't wait to shoot this thing. What I want to show you is the disassembly. So what we're going to do is you're just going to press on this. We've already checked that it is clear. It's going to be very difficult to disassemble this pistol without muzzling yourself in some way, shape, or form. Uh, but basically, you're going to push that detent in. Once you do that, that's going to expose this. Now. I've got to pull that out. I don't have long fingernails, but I can pull this out like that. Once you pull this out, now what you're gonna do is press on this section right here. Remember, you've got a firing pin indicator here. You're basically pushing this forwards, and what that did was release it. Now I can take this off. Now if I wanted to switch it out for, let's say, irons, it's as easy as placing this on. You guys can see how those irons don't move. They are fixed. Here's the slide portion. Okay, you can also see the Allen key is what actually holds the extractor in place. Let me go ahead and set that down gently. And then on here, this is a piston. Now guys, I'm gonna tell you what I, what I thought when I saw this, if you guys are familiar with H&K P7M8s or P7M13s, I think this was straight out of the playbook. The only thing is on an H&K, it's vertically in the pistol rather than horizontally this way. This allows you to get the recoil guide and all that above the barrel itself, and it is a fixed barrel. This would be an awesome host for a suppressor because you have no movement, you don't need a lid Nielsen device, and if they offered one in a threaded barrel, that would be awesome as well. But you guys can see how low the bore axis is on the barrel itself. I mean, just the finish and all that, I mean, it's just awesome, guys. I mean, the machine work, you can tell you're definitely getting a custom pistol here. So I'm gonna reassemble it using the irons. We're going to do that first. So first thing I want to do is I want to take the gas system, the gas piston, and place that in like that. You see how it rides on top of the barrel? And then what we're going to do is take the slide. This has to go over that portion. We want to make sure we get that pulled back just slightly. So now that we've got that slide portion on, what we want to do is get the top on the site. So this portion is going to be back. I've got that pulled out. And what we're going to do is lay this on top. It's very similar to like a transformer, I guess. Now, this is where you don't want to muzzle yourself. I'm going to try to do it without muzzling myself. What we want to do is pull this back 
until we hear that click. Now I can press this in and that's it. She is ready to go in iron sight glory. Let's go ahead and get to shooting this. Remember price points about $5,000. All of this is anodized aluminum. Let's go ahead and fill the trigger. Oh man, one of the best striker fired type triggers that I've felt. Very short reset. Guys, this is quality. Okay, so on the magazines here, it's a 17 round magazine. It's gonna function like any other pistol. You guys can see how it locks. We're looking way down into the chamber here because it's not up high. All right guys, so for shooting today, I've got some paper out there and I also have four steels. The paper is 20 yards, the far paper is 30 yards, and then of course we've got an array of steels out there. For the ammunition today, we're shooting 115 grain nine millimeter Winchester. We've got some TR products, which this is basically from Federal. And then we also have some of the Centec. This is actually American Eagle Federal, but I think we got some Centec here as well. And so we're going to try a big gamut of everything from 115 to 124 and 147. So we're going to go ahead and load up the mags and we'll get to shooting. All right, guys, so we've got the mags loaded up. We've got some of the 115 grain 9mm from Winchester and then also some of the 124. Guys, I have never fired this pistol. I did not have a chance to shoot one at SHOT Show. So I'm really looking forward to squeezing the trigger on this. Now, before I go on paper, I just wanna see if this thing's dialed in. What I'm going to do is we're gonna go ahead and shoot some of these steels and let's see what we get. We'll go for the first one here. This is about 21 yards. The trigger is awesome on that. I mean, it was a good solid center hit. Let's go to 30 yards. Center hit. Center hit. Guys, the trigger on this and the reset is unbelievable. The thing shoots great. Let's go ahead and see what we can do on paper at 20 yards. But the recoil, it's not a, it's not a myth. The lower you can get that recoil, the less muzzle flip you have. And I am pretty darn impressed with it with only shooting four rounds out of it. So at 20 yards, I'm gonna print a group shooting the irons. Let's see what we get on this. Just a hair low right. Bullseye. Another bullseye. All right, guys, so that's four rounds or so. Let's walk up and see what we have on this paper. It's on the left paper. Remember, this is 20 yards. Let's go check it out. So walking straight on up here to 20 yards. Now guys, you watched it while it happened. Right here, left side target. That is a 20 yard group guys, okay? You can say that's two inches or so. So I am dang impressed. It is a good solid pistol. You guys can see this was all fresh steel here. Man, what an awesome setup. All right, guys, so really impressive groups at 20 yards. I will tell you, because you're going to want to know, is, is it a farce or is it, or is it real? And it, it's real. That low center axis of that bore, that low bore axis, the recoil impulse is completely different. I want you to look how deep that cut is and how low we are in relationship to the pistol. So when you shoot this, the recoil impulse is not like a normal, let's say like a Glock 17 or anything like that, or even some of these competition pistols where you're feeling that flip, it's straight back into the palm here. So they did hit a winner with this. I mean, the, the engineering on this is unbelievable. Uh, the simplicity of it is unbelievable. I love a fixed barrel design, you know, everything from like the older Walthers uh, or the h and P7s. I've always had a place in my heart for those. I just wished I owned this pistol. This is a great setup. What we're gonna do is we're gonna switch it out and put the RMR on here, or the Seymour rather, we're gonna put a dot on here. We'll see how it does. Like I said, I'm not gonna burn through a ton of ammo. It is, it, it is a nice pistol, but it's not my pistol. So I'm, I'm not gonna sit here and just shoot it on the end. But man, I tell you, I really do like this setup. All right. All right, guys, let's see what it'll do on the plate rack. We have a plate rack at about 15 yards. Still shooting the irons. Okay, so not bad. It is still hot. I'm going to set it down. I'm not going to go forwards. 
you're going to notice that all the impacts are a little low. One of the things about that presentation, I'm not used to something sitting that low in my hand, and so I've got to learn it. That was the first six shots out of it on the plate rack. Let's try it again. I'm going to pick it up and I'll change it because like I said, look how low that sits in the hand, guys. It's incredibly, incredibly low. So I'm used to sights being up here. It's just a little different on the presentation. Let's try it again. Okay, so now that I'm getting a feel for it, I can kind of understand where I need to hold it because like I said, the angle is different and I'm not used to a beaver tail or an undercut being that extreme. Let's try it again. I've got one round, I'll have to do a mag change on it. So what I'll do is I'll just drop it on the table and, and do a reload. We'll see, we'll just reload out of the pocket. Let's see what the reloads are like on this. Yeah, I could see myself getting very, very fast with this with just a little bit of time. It shoots so flat. It's all, it almost doesn't feel natural to me. Guys, I am having so much fun with this pistol. Let's just uh, let's go ahead and run the plate rack again. This time I'll go right to left and hit all the steels along the way. All right, here we go. Man, this thing is so awesome. You guys can see I do have the two hits on the 20, 25, and 30 yard steels. Like I said, that bore axis is a little different. It's not what I'm used to. The point of aim feels a little different, but it points great. Once you get a feel for it, I can be fast with this, really fast. So let's go ahead and switch it out. Let's put the red dot up on the top of it and let's see how that works. All right guys, so what we're gonna do to switch this out, first thing we wanna do, make sure it's empty, check into the chamber. Once we checked it clear, what we're gonna do is press on this takedown on the front and then we're going to pull this pin out. Remember, it is easy to muzzle yourself on the takedown of this, so you don't wanna do that. Once you pull this pin out, then we're gonna push forward slightly. This will come off. Now what we can do is take the RMR. We're gonna take this, lay it down on top. And also, my understanding is with this pistol is that you could put this RMR on someone else's Lalgo and it would still be zeroed. So from here, we're gonna to press to the rear once you feel, hear it click, that's it. She is good to go with a dot on it. So let me go ahead and run a couple rounds with the dot. I have no idea if this thing is zeroed. Let me go ahead and get a reset. Hold on. All right. Well, down one plate, but that's okay. Shoots a little high at 30. Man, that is so nice. All right, so it is clear it is empty, but check it out. No reciprocation of that. That just makes it so nice. A little impromptu thing here. We're at about 11 yards or so. I've got Matt out here, and we want to play around on the plate rack. So he's got a timer. His challenge was what, two seconds? I don't know. I, I think two and a half, maybe. But uh, let me see. Let me get a feel for it here. And we'll go, we'll point at this rock for the start, okay? You're pointing at the rock. All right, ready? You ready? Yep. Stand by. Oh, ho, ho, you got to be freaking kidding. All right, well, that was pretty fast, pretty fast. It shoots very, very flat, but I left one standing. We're still getting used to the pistol. What was that minus the last two? I can't even blurt out. I'm at 303. 303? Hit review and check the last, or check the first six, see if it's even doable. Doable? Yeah. All right, go ahead. Stand by. 
Ah! Oh. Let's try it again. Stand by. All right. Whoa, ho, ho! Get you some! What is that? What is it? What is it? Two fifty two. You can't you're not gonna be able to do it in two seconds. No. But I'll tell you, two fifty is probably doable but it's tough. Yeah, you have to you have to be on it. Alright, clear clear. I'm gonna hand this to you. I'm gonna give you a mag. Let's see what you got, big boy. I got some. All right, so Matt's got two runs on this. Here you go. Here's your magazine. I got it. Oh, you got one? Yeah. Oh, you already had one. All right, well, I'm going to do a handhold on this up close because I want people to see this logo. This thing is just, just crazy fast. All right, is the shooter ready? And I was aiming at the rock. All right, shooter ready. Shooter is ready. Stand by. Three twenty-eight. Hey. Not bad. Let's do another one. Come on, let's do another one. I got another mag if you need it. Hold on. Matt, general impressions of that pistol. Amazing. It, it, it really is. And guys, I'm not talking it up. I, I'm I'm really kicking myself that I did not buy one of these. Yeah, it's it's flat. There you go, sir. So flat with factory ammo. All right, let's try it again. Is the shooter ready? It's that first shot, right? All right. Stand by. You just couldn't miss fast enough, could you? I'm going to stop there. Don't let the old man beat you. Old man's going to beat me. <laughs> All right, guys, hope you enjoyed the review. I am very, very impressed with this pistol. I hope you enjoyed the review of the Laugo Alien 500. Big shout out to George for allowing me to shoot and review this and show you guys firsthand the Laugo Alien. If you can get your hands on one, I would highly recommend it. Guys, like, share, and subscribe. We'll talk to you soon. Have a good one.